Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys don't know already, my name is Jeremy, and I own Jeremy Lou Photography. <laughs> my name is Jeremy, and I own Jeremy Lou Photography. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If this video helps you out in any way, just give it a thumbs up, and then click that bell for notifications. That way we can keep the dialogue going. But most importantly, guys, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, especially if, if you live in the area, because this video is about the do -do 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 Reno Fashion Show. So, the Reno Fashion Show is a annual fashion show that's held in Reno um, at one of the, um, at the Atlantis GSR. I'm not sure where they go. I haven't followed them too much about it, but I hear about it every year. And the first couple years that it was done, the first couple times, I don't know how long it's been done. There's been a lot of fashion shows around here. Um, I have declined for one reason or another. Um... It got to the point last year where so much change and things were happening with this show that nobody actually knew what the show was about. So I have my little, uh, I have my iPhone her, um, and I did a little post. Um, so basically what happens is I get a lot of photographers messaging me around this time because they start to do their casting, their auditions, and start asking people for help. Um, the Reno Fashion Show does. Now know that the Reno Fashion Show is a for-profit company so it's not a nonprofit. none of the money gets donated anywhere which is totally fine it doesn't have to be um but that also leads to the the question of, of who else gets paid and all that and i think that's the biggest thing right now because right now reno has this huge um, uproar on which they should uproar on valuing uh models photographers hair and makeup designers compensation their time how do they get paid and all that junk so when you're asking people to do things for free there has to be a way around it and this is theoretically what this company does so to be part of the reno fashion show if you're a designer you have to pay a fee um, somebody mentioned four hundred dollars the um the curator the creator of the reno fashion show has now commented on my page and didn't deny that so let's say four hundred dollars if you're a designer to go on and what this does of course is it gets you in front of an audience full of people um, to show off your work but some of the issues that have come up with that aspect are these aren't designers these are clothing stores um, whether it's banana republic or like i'm assuming like macy's or a store so it's not an actual designer that's designing their their line that's coming up it's more of like hey what do you guys have already? Let's throw it on some people and walk down and up the aisle. Whereas if you guys follow real fashion shows, it's literally like a whole concept based off of one design. And then that design is then spurt into other different concepts, which is really cool and unique to do. And then it showcases that designer. So, I mean, it's a fashion show. I guess not a design show. I don't know how they're going to talk about that, but that's, that, that's a little, that's a different part right there. Uh, models are commenting on this and I basically asked what their experience was. Um, so models are basically, they don't get paid. Um, they don't get their names sent out anywhere. And basically sometimes they'll just be thrown from designer to designer. I think the designers can find their own models if they want, but there is an audition process. And basically with the audition process, you go through and you get uh, sent to a certain designer, depending on how many they need. Um, I have heard in the past that they required you to uh, sign into your Facebook and they would do a, some sort of hack and take all of your friends and then do an auto invite to the event from your Facebook, which is weird and sketchy. And like, you know, I mean, they're trying to promote it, but I've never even thought of doing that, which maybe, you know, if I want to want to do that, I can. Um, and models in the past were able to make money and they actually still do this this way. The tickets sell for $25. So if a model sells a ticket for $25, um, they get to keep $5 of it. So let's say 20% of the um, 5, 10, uh, no, like six, 15%, I think something like that, of the totals, which is cool. So if they want to sell 100 tickets, they can make a whole bunch of money. Um, there also is the issue of some of the models were getting harassed after from another account here that uh, she never received tickets, but they wanted the full payment of all the tickets that she was given, um, which is always a little scary thing. If you make somebody sell something for you and you don't get it back, how are you going to prove that they have it? So basically, they were just handing tickets out and, and hoping that it worked. Um, the other issue on that, as, I'm, as I was kind of reading through this, was that the models last year, at least three of them have accounted on this, but the organizer hasn't uh, written back, is three of the models didn't get paid anything. They did sell the tickets, but they got nothing. And that is a sketch part right there. 
so photographers don't get paid. Uh, they get put into a pit. They get to go and shoot in Rome. And I don't know if they're asked to do this or if they are, they just show up or if somebody's setting it up, whoever's setting it up, I really hope that they work some sort of compensation out because images are actually what's used to go into the paper, to go into uh, Reno Tahoe tonight, to, to, to promote the event for next year. So the images are being used all over. And photographers, I hope you guys are at a point now where, where your logo on a picture isn't really worth the time that you spend. If you spend two or three hours at this event and you get one picture in the paper, um, you're making less than minimum wage. You're making less than somebody with no education working at Whole Foods. <laughs> Let's target Whole Foods. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. And then we talked about hair and makeup. Of course, hair and makeup, I think, works with designers specifically. Um, hopefully, they get images from these photographers who aren't getting paid. I'm not sure what they really get out of it. Maybe their name gets announced. I'm not sure. I've never been to one. But one of the biggest things, the biggest negatives that I have seen, and I'll get into positives, I promise. One of the biggest negatives that I've, I've heard is that it's just very, very unorganized. It's chaos. Uh, people don't know where they're supposed to be. People aren't, and, and that's not... That's not how it's supposed to be run. They're supposed to be very, very strict and form almost like a play or a show. Um, so in my mind, somebody here is collecting all this money. A lot of stuff is being donated. Um, I'm not sure if the venue is being donated or if the venue is charging or how that's working. Um, but I actually will reach out to them later on the Atlantis for this year and see what's going on there. But I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about this. I, I, I want to support things like this, but I also in my mind, it, it, it feels scammy to me. And that's just my personal opinion because everything's supposed to be done, but it's not getting done. Um, now let's talk about some of the pros guys. Oh, one more negative. Um, somebody did ask on their page, Hey, do you need to be 18 to be part of this? Or do you need to be 18? It, basically the question was very vague. Do you need to be 18 to be part of this? And basically at the bottom, all they responded was Nope. And then I responded, what do you mean? Like, I don't want my 16-year-old daughter, I don't have one, I don't want my 16-year-old daughter showing up and being part of this show without me signing off on anything. Where are the pictures going? Uh, who, who owns those pictures? Do I get pictures? What is she wearing? Um, who is she working for? Are, are they, is this a donation? Like, I, there's so many questions that I would have that I would never just say nope on that. I would explain a little bit more. And one of the things I suggested to them was having a fact page on just common questions like this. Some of the positives, guys, if you guys are any of the professions I mentioned before, of course it's going to help your portfolio. This will gain experience. You'll get to meet some really cool designers, photographers, models, and network with people that you have maybe seen around Reno but haven't really worked with. Of course that's a benefit. Of course you should do that. Do I recommend you guys doing this? I recommend everybody do it once, maybe, if they can't find another fashion show to run for or walk for. But no, this is not going to – this type of event – no matter what the promises are, since it's so chaotic and so mismanaged, it's not going to help you in any way. These photos aren't going to go anywhere. Your modeling's not going to go anywhere with this. There's not going to be agents that are scouting you. It's just not one of those places, no matter what they say. I know they focus on Project what Runway contestants are on this, which is cool, but we're calling this the Reno Fashion Show. And that's actually one thing that somebody brought up that, that irks me. It's called Reno Fashion Show, but we're trying to bring other people here. I mean, it's being held in Reno. I get it. But if it's not going to be focusing local Reno designers, Reno models, Reno everything, then let's not call it the Reno Fashion Show. Let's call it something else. I'm sure I missed a few things, but I'm at 10 minutes of this video, and I think that's probably good with you guys. Um, there is an open um, conversation happening on, on my Facebook. You guys are more than welcome to check it out. It was it was on March 16th at 1210, so feel free to go on there and see what other people are saying. Um, I really, really hope that with this, one of the concerns I'm getting via private messages, so I've gotten maybe 100 private messages on this because uh, people are afraid, but basically they want to run the show again. They want to walk the show again or be part of it because their friends are being part of it or maybe they know the designers that they're afraid that they're gonna get booted out because of this post. So, this message is to the organ organizers. Please, this is my thing, I'm checking this out. This is my thing as due diligence, as, as owning Hatch, as being part of the community. It has nothing to do with them. Their responses are candid and natural and not everybody's gonna be happy. Not everybody is gonna be mad. People are gonna love what you guys do, but please do not take this negatively against them and boot them out of the show. And so far, I that's their biggest concern. I haven't heard it actually happening. If it does happen, I'll do another post about that, but that really shouldn't be their issue. That's my issue. Feel free to boot me out of any show, even though I've never been part of it. I, you know, I, I yeah, take it out on me. 
Um, but comment below, guys. Let me know what you guys think, and I'd love to get a dialogue going. I'm going to go in and do this shoot. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye!